Hello friends. Your kidneys are a vital part of your energy system. You can think of them as the batteries of your body. So contemplate your vehicle, no matter how great shape the engine might be in, if the battery is dead, you're not going anywhere. And it's the same for your body. Your kidneys also house your adrenal glands, which generally get a huge overworkout in our culture. There's too much stress, too much anxiety. So stick with me for this little practice and this will help you to fill up your lower dantian or your jing or your essence so that you have the power to send this energy up through your body to start creating the life that you really want to live. Start with your feet, knees, and hips in alignment. And from this very moment, we're beginning to practice. So just take a breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, and start to allow your body to unwind. All of the things that happen through us, and all of our emotions and situations and circumstances, can get trapped in our body if they're not released. So just taking a nice deep breath and releasing it out is a great way to help your body to decompress. Then with your knees slightly soft, raise your left heel and we'll step out to about shoulder width apart. You'll want to anchor your tailbone so it directs towards the earth. Knees are soft. And the weight is a little bit more towards the balls of your feet. Shoulders are at ease. Chin is slightly tucked in, which will open up the back of your neck. And your head is aligned with the heavens. It's very important to maintain a proper posture. This is the structure for your whole being. Think of a house that has a strong foundation. When you're ready, we're just gonna start turning the upper body from side to side and allowing the arms to sort of fly out on either side. You can turn to look behind you if you like. Try to keep the lower half of your body anchored I'm tapping with the back of my hand on either side of my spine, making sure not to tap on the spine itself. And the palm of your front hand is tapping across either hip at the front of the body. So we're working the gate of life Point here, or Ming Men, which is helping to ease tension from the body and the kidneys, and helping to revitalize your being. Tapping across either side of the stomach is great for digestion. And keeping everything that you ingest moving freely so that nothing gets stuck within you. Stagnation is definitely not something that you want to have going on. When you're ready, just come to a stop and allow yourself just to unwind slowly. Make sure you're still in correct position and just notice how much energy you can feel in your body already. From here, we're gonna take the hands from the same position. I'm just gonna show you this from the side. This is gonna be a little bit tricky. You're gonna rest, rest your hands on your thighs. You'll notice I'm still maintaining my structure. And then it's as though we're gonna be drawing an arc with our chin. I'm gonna tuck under come forward and your chin is out at the level of the horizon. My tailbone is still anchored, knees are soft. 
you're just going to start drawing this arc with your chin and the head will come down. Chin tucks in. We're going to breathe in and come up. And it's not until we come up that the head comes back out and we start to form this arc again. This is called the wave. So just imagine you're creating this wave-like pattern through the body and the spine. Just really opening up through the lower back. Helping to ease tension from the kidneys. And the nervous system. Keep going. And the stronger your legs, the stronger the foundation for your body. Just remember to take your time with all of these forms. We go nice and slow and really feel into every movement. We'll do one more round. Just allow the shoulders to come back slide back into their place. This time, you're going to draw your hands up overhead, palms facing out, and you're looking up towards your hands. This is like a bit of a squat that you do at the gym. It's called the tiger. I'm going to keep looking forward. I'm not going to let my head come down. And the hands are going to come down. Breathe in, pull back up and follow the hands with your eyes. Slide the hands back down, but keep the chest and the neck open. Pushing off from the base of the feet, really strengthening through the thighs and the legs. creating a really good foundation for your body so that your whole structure is nice and strong and solid. I'm going to do one more round. And then just come back up to standing and draw your hands in front of your heart in the prayer position. Again, we're gonna keep the lower half of the body static or anchored. And you're going to be turning with the upper part of the body. The palms will slide apart and one hand will come down by your side. And we're gonna turn in that direction and push out as though you're pushing against a wall. Then we'll dip gently at the knees, come back up, and push out to the other side. Just a gentle dip, coming back to prayer, and then pushing out for our little twist and flow form. It's a beautiful practice, nice little spinal twist, great for your kidneys. And the kidneys are said to be the home of your essence. So the stronger we are through the lower Dantian, that first treasure, the more authentic we tend to feel. And when you feel authentic, you tend to have good discernment, inner balance, do one more either side. Strong, good decision making capabilities, confidence. Bring the hands back to center, turn them out and just allow them to float down. 
Lift up your left heel again, and this time we're going to step out a little wider into a form called Mabu, or a stance rather. Tailbone is still anchored, knees are soft, head is still aligned with the heavens. Draw your hands in front of the lower Dantian, my palm, one palm is on the back of my hand. You're going to breathe in, raise your hands up overhead and follow your hands with your eyes. And then we're going to breathe out, keeping the knees soft. And you're just going to fold over flat, head, neck and back in alignment. And then we're going to pull up through center. This is called a full body flow. Release through the lower back. And then stretch up, really feel that through the whole upper part of the body, the ribs. The other great thing about this practice is that as you raise your arms up, you're lifting up your organs. And this will help to flood them with fresh blood and chi. So it's very revitalizing not only for your spine, but your whole body. We'll do a couple more rounds. Breathing in as you come up, taking your time, being as steady and fluid as possible. as your arms come up just separate them and let them float down and then one hand will be on top of the other and just place it on the upper thigh of one leg and then lean over keep your chin at the level of the horizon I'm not pressing down on my hands just a place for them to rest I want to feel a nice stretch down the inseam of the leg and then lift your hands up, come back to center, and we'll come across to the other side. So your kidney meridian, or energy channel, runs down the inseam of your legs. So we get a good stretch through here. It's a nice way to help keep that channel open and clear. And it also feels really nice just to stretch through the inside of the leg, we often don't do this kind of a stretch. I've been for a big bike ride today, so I'm feeling that on the inside of my leg. Come back to center. <sighs> Draw your hands up to the heart in prayer. And we're going to do a little lung meridian breathing. All that we do here is you're going to push your hands out, draw them to the sides, and then we'll come back into center, bend at the knees a little bit, and the hands return to center in front of the heart in prayer. And then we come back open and breathe in, come back down to center. It's a really nice, way to open up through the heart and the lungs and we're still working through the kidneys by strengthening the legs do a couple more rounds and really take your time feel yourself open as the arms pull apart creating spaciousness in your particular universe filling your world with inspiration and good vibes. Leave your arms out, allow your hands to turn over, and then just let one arm float down and it'll come and rest on your lower back. We're gonna lean into this opposite leg again, so I'm just bending my knee and we're going to be drawing another arc through the front of the body. You're going to turn and look towards this hand. 
And then you're gonna float down, scoop through as though you're drawing water up. Turn the palm over as it draws in front of your face. And then we'll release down and do another scoop. Coming back up and just taking your time. Noticing all the different parts to this movement. Nice stretch for the inside of the legs. Beautiful for the lower back. This is called the Taoist water flow. Water is the element for the kidneys. So nice to keep that smooth and flowing. Allow that arm to draw out to the side, level of the shoulder. Bring the other arm out to meet it, and then we'll swap hands. So the hand that was moving now will now be behind your back, and your other arm is out at the level of the horizon. And we'll just turn to look at that hand, and then we'll start again on this side. Just coming up and across. Taking your time one side may feel very different than the other. We tend to lock into patterns and habitual ways of being and thinking. One of the things I love about Qigong is that you're always using yin and yang, both sides, body, which is very nourishing for your spirit, your essence, body, and your mind. Last round. Allow both arms to come out at the level of the horizon and then just let them gently float down. When you're ready, come back to Wuji or emptiness. Feet about shoulder width apart, feet, knees and hips in alignment. We'll finish this very brief little practice by drawing our energy back to ourselves. So just turn your palms out, draw your hands up, and bring all of you back in your etheric or energetic field extends outside of your body about the length of your arms. So up and over and all the way around. We'll do three gathers. Our energy is always intermingling with other people, places, situations, circumstances. And the more that you can draw yourself back to yourself, the more calm and relaxed, poised and centered you will feel. Then you can always just draw your hands back over the lower dantian and settle this energy in for as long as you like. And as always, I thank you for coming to share chi with me. Have a beautiful day.